Thank you, Speaker. Well, when launching his 2013 election campaign, the, the then opposition leader told Australians that Australia's worst deficit was not the budget deficit, but the trust deficit. And just as this government has doubled the budget deficit after promising to cut it, the Prime Minister's litany of broken promises and tricky excuses have left level of tr levels of trust in Australia at all-time lows. Broken promises on health, education funding, the pension, higher education fees, the NBN taxes, the ABC, SBS and soon the GST have left the Prime Minister's leadership teetering. And now it seems that the next contender for the job, the member for Wentworth, is keen on following the same approach. Not only has he endorsed every one of these broken promises, but he has. But he's still working on some broken promises of his own. Today's Australian informs its readers that, quote, MPs expect Mr Turnbull to make it clear that he would not reopen old divisions over climate change by arguing for an emissions trading scheme to cut greenhouse gases. Well, this is a plan that's so cunning, Godwin Gresh would approve. Hashtag seriously. Because in October 2009, Malcolm Turnbull told the ABC, quote, I will not lead a party that is not as committed to effective action on climate change as I am. In December 20, 2009, Malcolm Turnbull further said, now politics is about conviction and having a commitment to carry out those convictions. Many Liberals are rightly dismayed that on this vital issue of climate change we are not simply without a policy, we are without any prospect of having a credible policy and we are now without integrity. We have given our opponents the irrefutable, undeniable evidence that we cannot be trusted. While well, a member for Wentworth is right about the previous leader and he's right about the next Order. one. Call the